Time Trials. This is a special underwater edition of Blog Along with a Bond. Thunder bollocks. That's ridiculous. I don't know why I tried. That's what even is an underwater edition of anything? Um, no, I didn't even sound like I was underwater. I sounded like Nick Griffin trying to articulate his rage over the perfectly legitimate building of a mosque. Um, he's probably chewing something, something indigenous, like an otter. And he's got bits of whiskers and, and mammal flesh tumbling from his fat, racist, hateful lips. Hello, I'm Miles, and this is Blog Along a Bond number four. Thunder, 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 thunderball. No! Released in 1965, Thunderball is the sight of a series not so much patting itself on the back as giving it a full-blown reach around into the mirror. Yes, welcome back, wank fans. Come in, make yourself comfortable. Not not that comfortable. <clears throat> so buoyed by the success of Goldfinger, uh, the producers sought to replicate that film's excesses, a decision clearly not shared by director Terence Young, brought back from the original films Doctor No and uh, From Russia With Love. As such, the tone of the film is so uneven, it could have been applied physically by Michael J. Fox, just on a bouncy castle, uh, on a boat, in which there's a storm going. You see what I'm saying, it's inconsistent. Um, so on the one hand, you get like a vicious fight in a chateau with a man in drag. You get uh, an attempt made on Bond's life uh, in the health farm, but it's by forcing him to dry hump a attraction machine. Um, there's a sadistic and nefarious spectre villainess. She's basically um, a redhead with a pair of incredible tits, which is how you'd probably describe her, Ron Weasley and his twin brothers. So, with the suggestions of something good, there's always something bad to drag it back down. I mean, the whole film is, is like having a two-hour semi, which you don't have to do. Um, I've just got a quick visual method of dealing with that. So, boom alone, or there you go. Um, and uh, not feeling, of course, uh, the gaze. So, there you go. Um, speaking of Jeremy Clarkson, Bond in this film is particularly hateful, his smarmy quips and detached laconic air are as unappealing as his supposed seduction techniques. Uh, themselves are, have all the charm and allure of someone uh, suggesting you forego foreplay uh, with the sentence, shall I just spit on it? <clears throat> that would all just be just about bearable were it not for the fact that the film is so crushingly, mind-numbingly boring. I mean, it really is incredibly, 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 incredibly dull. Much like that sentence. Tom Jones reportedly fainted during the uh, the singing, the actual theme for the film. I mean, I, I feel akin with him. I lost consciousness several times during this movie. Um, I've seen Jason Takes Manhattan. That's one of the most boring films I've ever seen, but at least that has a death by decapitation. This has no such thing. I've in fact got a top ten of things that are more interesting than Thunderball. Uh, number ten, John Cravings. There he is there. At number nine, John Cravings through the ages. So, so early days. Wrong. And uh, number eight, John Craving's Country File. Number seven, John Craving's News Round. So that's number seven. Um, sir. Uh, number six, so John Craving's Doll that I made. So. Number five. So, um, John Craving's jumper, made from the finest wool. So, number four. John Craving's glasses. Number three. John Craving's hair, just a, just a bit of it. N number number two is um, John Craving's voice. How did you get this number? Why are you doing this? 
and number one, it's uh, a restraining order from uh, John Craving's solicitor uh, instructing me to keep away from his client at all times. So, top ten things. Sorry, that's that's not the top ten things more interesting than Thunderball at all. That's that's my top ten stalk along a Craven thing that I shouldn't have really read out. Craven. Anyway, John Craven, what did you think of this film? There we are, absolutely right. So I give this film a two out of ten. Now, if I hated the film so much, why two? Well, one, because it's a competent production. I've seen a lot of awfully bad films. Uh, Shark Attack 3, Megalodon. It, it's terribly made. This is not that. It's professionally made. It's just incredibly boring. Um, and the other one is for John Barry. Um, incredible score, as always. Um, I mean, you could probably just hand uh, John Barry a recorder, sew his lips shut, and he could still bash out an amazing soundtrack. Probably wouldn't want to use the recorder again afterwards, but nonetheless, it can still have some good music. Thunderball, it's a bad film, okay? If you want to watch a surly Scot beat the shit out of foreigners in foreign climes, go to Magaluf, okay? If you want to watch a good Connery Bond film, watch From Russia With Love. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you want to watch another one, they're all on the same thing, there'll be another one next month, it's uh, You Only Live Twice. Thanks ever so much for the feedback and seeing the last one. Um, comments range from You've Got Too Much Time On Your Hands to You've got too much cock on your hands, which would come as something of a surprise to those unfortunate enough to see me naked. Thank you very much. I'm Miles. I'll see you again. Bye.